Oh, he's from a swollen leg. All right, I have a razor brain. Uh, I have a, re a real laser blade. Please be careful. Don't touch here. Please could you cut the paper out with this. It's a sharp, right? Yeah. Okay, thank you. I swallow no, the no, laser blade. No, don't do that. No, don't. No. Mm. Oh, my God. Ah. Yummy! All right! I have more of a laser blade. No! Mm. Mm. Uh, would you like some? No, okay. Please don't copy me! Mm. I will eat all of them. Mm. 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 Delicious. Wow. Ah, last one is strings. <sighs> Keep eating things. He'll never eat his dinner after this. Here we go. Britain, are you ready? We saw you better play that sex. Empty. Yes, Simon. More crazy now. Okay, can I go ahead? Can you check this rope for me? Check the rope. Hey, it's normal. 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 Magic. This is magic! magic. Okay, and now I need one of you answer deck. <laughs> In the... There's no way I was going on there with him. I bring today the guillotina of death. What? 
no, no, no. I get it. Shop. Shop. Shop live. Bye. Shop live. Okay, on your knees, please. <laughs> With your face on this. Gets better. Uh, Nils goes harder and the next he gets better. Really? Nils goes on your knees. What a way to go. <laughs> it is. Please, yeah. More, more. And this is how it ends. Yeah, perfect. What we need. Oh, baby. You're doing it great. And I bring two cucumber. Magic. And power. <laughs> Where the hell are you still in that cucumber? Oh, there. It's good, 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 good. And magic. Cucumber number two. <laughs> Where you put that? Just there, good, okay, good, good. All right. Listen, are you ready? My name is Matt Edwards. Hi, Matt. Hello. Where are you from? Where are you from, Matt? I'm from uh, Suffolk. Suffolk? Great. Yes. How old are you? I'm 34. 34. Do you have a day job? Um, I... So <laughs> do I look young? Um, <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I'm a magician, is what I do for my oh. day job. Lovely. So tell us something about you that makes you different from other magicians that we may have seen on the show. <laughs> um... <laughs> <laughs> I think the, what makes me different from other magicians is um, the type of magic I perform isn't necessarily sleight of hand. It's a little bit uh, crazy, a little bit variety, I would say. Mm. Hmm. It's like the sound of that. All right, well, we look forward to your act. Good luck. So I do it now? Yeah. It's lovely to meet you all. Uh, my name is Matt. What's your name? Brilliant, that's enough. Now, I've only got like a minute to show you what I can do. So, um, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to perform a trick. Uh, but before I do my trick, I'm going to propose a toast. I want to say cheers to everybody. Um, so, when I say cheers, everybody in the audience shouts... Cheers! Perfect, amazing. Now, uh, because uh, I've only got a minute, I'm going to give this a big build-up in the hope that everyone claps really loudly and then all the ladies take off their bras and throw them in my face. <laughs> <laughs> Look at it, you, Alicia. <laughs> Worth a try. So, um, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Señores y señores, bienvenidos a la Britain's Got Talent de esta noche, si papá la tequila. <laughs> Rachel, I'm a baby. <laughs> <laughs> Said Lee Evans and magic. I do. Yeah. What's this? Might as well. I forgot the soul. Gotta have soul. Oh. Tequila. I forgot the soul. I'm fine, I'm fine. Ha, ha, ha. 
to present a magic trick. It's good. I love when people push jokes as far as they possibly can go until they almost break. It was very funny, very entertaining. It was brilliant. Well done. Thank you. Amanda? Yeah, I mean, I really loved it. It was sort of silly how Tommy Cooper used to do it. You know, you're so distracted by you clowning and messing about that we're not paying attention to what you're actually doing, so therefore it's even more magical. I really love you. I think you're charming, I think you're funny, and you're kind of old school with a twist, which is absolutely perfect for Britain's Got Talent. Well done. Simon? I've got to be honest with you, Matthew. You know, when you started with that voice, I thought this is going to be really annoying. But actually, you are brilliant. I mean, really, really funny. And how old are you, 34, did you say? 34. OK, I'm surprised you haven't had a break yet, Matthew, because you're really likeable and nuts. Um, you've just got something about you. It's your energy. This is what we look for on these shows, people who've got star quality. I've just got a feeling about you. Thank you so much. Good, you know. good. Really good. I agree, Matthew. Love your passion and enthusiasm. Right, we're going to take a vote, David. Oh, they've got the vote. I'm going to say yes. Yeah, hold, on, hold, on, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Excuse hold on. Hold on. Excuse me. Hold on. 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 You can. Today I'm going to show you some of my two favourite things, magic and reading, using my three favourite books. My first favourite author is Colin Davis, Math and Magical. Amanda, could you look through the book and see if each page is different? Yes, darling. My second favourite author is Enid Blight and the Magical Faraway Tree. Alicia, could you look through the book and see if each page is different? OK. My third favourite author is David Williams, The Midnight Gang. <laughs> <laughs> David, could you look through the book and see if each page is different? It would be a pleasure. <laughs> yes. While still doing that, Simon, could you pick up my box and put it on the floor for me, please? Where? Over there. <laughs> She's very bossy. <laughs> Down here? Yeah. I can't lift it. <laughs> David, do you want to go and help I it? literally can't lift it. <laughs> We're trying together. Go on. To me, to you. To me, to you. <laughs> <laughs> it won't lift. Oh, wait one minute. Could you sit back down for me, please? All right, go and sit down. Go and sit down. No, you as well. <laughs> do as you tell them. <laughs> Right, I'm back. <laughs> what happened? 
Simon, I want to show you a car trick, but it's a car trick Hang on. right now. I'm still a bit scared after that. <laughs> Give me five seconds. OK. As you can see, all the cards are different. Yeah, I can. I'm going to turn them face down and I want you to touch the back of any card. All right. That one. Thank you. I want you to look at your card for remembering don't let anyone else see. I won't. OK. Now, Simon, you're the boss. I want you to pick any book, either Amanda, Alicia or David's. Alicia's, please. <laughs> Alicia's book has about 600 pages. Could you name a number between 1 and 600? It's 77. Alicia, could you turn your book to page 77 yes. for me, please? And check if all the words are different. Yes, all the words are different. Now, could you pick any word and tell us what it is? Kettle. Kettle. Remember, Sam, you could have picked any book. And Alicia, you could have chosen any word, but you chose kettle. Yes. See this blackboard? Before the show tonight, I wrote a word on the board. Watch. No way. What was your card? It's the Four of Diamonds. Andrew and I are so in tune with each other, even though we went shopping separately for today's audition, we both ended up buying the same camouflage T-shirts. <laughs> Let's show you what we do. Amanda, I'll take you have your phone on you. Yes, I do, actually. Uh, if you stand here for me. Amanda, I'd like you to scroll through your contact list and stop on somebody at random. OK. Look at this person's last three digits of their phone number. Yeah. Once you've got that in your mind, lock the phone and put your phone on the desk. Just say this person's name over and over again in your mind. I really hope we get this. And even though you picked this person, you had a free choice. Is that right? Andrew? Amanda, in a loud, clear voice, what are the three numbers you're thinking of? 415. 415? That's exactly what I've got. Thank you. Of course, Amanda, this is a contact in your phone. In a loud, clear voice, whose number is this? My sister, Debbie. Debbie? That's what I've got. <laughs> Amanda, thank you so much. Please take a seat. Thank you. How would you do Simon? Please join us on stage. And I'm sure everyone here will give you a really big hand. <laughs> Simon! Yay! Oh, Good luck, oh, Simon! Oh. Love you, Simon! Go this side of the stage Thank for you, us. Simon. Thank you. Simon, would you hold that, please? We're going to go on an imaginary journey in your mind. Oh, don't. Oh, God, oh, don't dear. go there. Don't oh, go dear. there. Oh, dear. I'd like you to imagine that you're standing outside a house. You look at the door and you see a number on the door. Any number you like, Simon, please write it down. Just try to say that number over and over again in your mind. You now go into this imaginary house and you go into a living room. You look at the wall of the living room and you see a colour painted on the walls. Please write it down. Just imagine that colour all around us now. You're focused on it, right? And even though you picked that colour, you could have had anyone. You now go into the kitchen. You look over at the wall and you see a celebrity calendar. It could be anyone you like, Simon. <laughs> now, although you picked this person, that was a free choice. 
You know that, right? You know that. And even though you picked this person, you had the choice of thousands. Andrew? I, I am getting something. Simon was asked to imagine he was standing in front of a house. He imagined a door, he imagined a number. Simon, you then walked into the house, you looked at a room that was in a single colour. Then you're asked to think of a celebrity, anyone in the world. Simon, I believe you're thinking 717, you're thinking of the colour turquoise. You're thinking of Sir Roger Moore? May I? Ladies and gentlemen, exactly the number 717. He thought of wow. turquoise. Good. You chose Roger Moore. Simon, thank you so much. How did they do that? So much. So I much. Got <laughs> Many of you may be wondering how we read minds. What you should be wondering is how we started off this performance wearing camouflage t-shirts and ended up wearing black. We are DNA. Thank you. I put a 